Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer here on uh, December 31st, New Year's Eve, and the uh, Sunday in the octave of Christmas, making it the feast day today of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And our gospel story today is the story of the presentation in the temple. Uh, we hear both Simeon and Anna. Uh, approaching the Holy Family and uh, <clears throat> lauding the child Jesus and Simeon, of course, uh, his uh, very, very uh, telling prophecy of the sword that would pierce the heart of uh, our Blessed Mother. And the uh, the other two readings we get at Mass, say, of course, there's many options if you look at the the feast day today there there's options everywhere for all the readings uh but we hear of family of god and that was i think monsignor Marin, uh both last night and this morning at holy mass um talked about us being uh members of the family of god and he was stressing that we don't belong to uh, the government, uh, we, we, we're supposed to run the government by the people, for the people, of the people, and, and not, uh, not the other way around. We don't, uh, are, we're not controlled or owned uh, by our government, but we do have this dual citizenship and this membership, uh, and we're going to hear this more tomorrow, too, uh, on the Feast of uh, Our Blessed Mother. Uh, how we're adopted children of God himself and we belong to him and our citizenship not only here on earth and in this country but in heaven as St. Paul tells us we have a a, a home in, in heaven. So today we, we look at family you know and and uh, you know, one thing we have to understand is that today's not uh, the feast day of the perfect family. No, it's the feast day of the the holy family. And uh, you know, there's dysfunction in every family. Uh, you know, I don't I don't care how much of a leave it to Beaver, uh, make room for Daddy, uh, Father knows best kind of world. Boy, you can tell I'm dating myself with those. TV shows, right? Uh, but, you know, we we have uh, things that happen in, in our lives and it makes things definitely not boring. And dysfunction also gives us opportunities to grow in holiness because when we, when we take our dysfunctions and we deal with them in the best way we can, you know, it, it should help us grow in grace, uh, mercy, kindness, understanding, all the virtues uh, that we need to to live in a family and live in a family in a peaceful and uh, loving way. You know, uh, the Holy Family, you know, first of all, their firstborn child was born in a cave, in a manger. Um, you know, that's... Uh, not the best of planning, I guess you might say, in today's day and age. And so there's a little dysfunction there. When Jesus was, you know, newborn, they had to, they became refugees. They had to run and flee and hide and, and, and live in various places around Egypt as they, uh, as they were, uh, uh, you know, forced out of their homeland. And then, you know, that's dysfunction. That's just, you know, it's not their own of their own doing, but it's, it's, there's, it's not normal. Okay. Uh, not being born in a cave, being, uh, uh, refugees, uh, uh, like that. It, that's, that's, those aren't normal ways of living. And then when he's 12, he's lost in the, the temple, not for a few hours, but, but for three days. And, uh, you know, it's just a lack of communication, uh, one group thought he was with the other group, and this group thought he was that group, and you know there was there was uh, confusion and miscommunication, and then they found him, you know, of course, in his father's house doing his father's business. Uh, but anyway, 
you know, dysfunction is something that is across the board. All of us uh, have dysfunction in our lives. But again, that's so we're not bored to death. <laughs> we're not. Uh, we're not in a in a state of uh, of just you know complacency. We have to deal with with things you know that pop up all the time, and creates opportunities opportunities for us to grow in holiness, so we can you know truly be brothers and sisters in Christ and follow the precepts of our Lord and treat each other through all the trials, tribulations, all the dysfunctions that pop up, you know, in a godly way. So opportunities abound through dysfunction for us to grow in holiness. So today as we focus on the family, understand that we're part of a big family, the family of God, and first and foremost, that is our our family, and we're called to love God and love one another. You know, those are the two main commandments that, that were given. So today, as we bring this year to a close and look forward to a new beginning, maybe even new dysfunctions, uh, new opportunities to grow in in holiness. So we, 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 say goodbye to 2023 and bid 2024 a, a welcome and we pray and hope for uh, a good healthy happy prosperous new year and help us to deal we ask christ to ask the holy family today help us to deal with all the dysfunctions that we're going to encounter in this new year and uh, help us get through them as you did so we pray our evening prayer on this New Year's Eve, the Feast of the Holy Family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, marvelous exchange, man's creator has become man, born of a virgin. We have been made sharers in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <coughs> Praise, O oh, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, Word of God, surrendering the brightness of your glory, you became man, so that we may be raised from the dust to share your very being. May there be innumerable children of the church to offer homage to your name, from the rising of the sun to its setting. O marvelous exchange, man's creator has become man, born of a virgin. We have been made sharers in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. By your miraculous birth of the virgin, you have fulfilled the scriptures like a gentle rain falling upon the earth. You have come down to save your people. O oh God, we praise you. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. 
He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. In the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes the word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you established peace within the borders of Jerusalem. Give the fullness of peace to your faithful people. May peace rule us in this life and possess us in eternal life. You are about to fill us with the best of wheat. Grant that what we see dimly now is in a mirror. We may come to perceive clearly in the brightness of your truth. By your miraculous birth of the Virgin, you have fulfilled the scriptures. Like a gentle rain falling upon the earth, you have come down to save your people. O oh God, we praise you. Your blessed and fruitful virginity is like the bush, flaming yet unburned, which Moses saw on Sinai. Pray for us, Mother of God. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God shows us in him before the world began, to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, <coughs> to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You bless your blessed, blessed and fruitful virginity is like the bush, flaming yet unburned, which Moses saw on Sinai. Pray for us, Mother of God. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians. When the designated time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to deliver from the law those who were subjected to it, so that we might receive our status as adopted sons. The Word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. The Word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. He lived among us, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. In his great love for us, God sent his Son like in the likeness of our sinful nature, born of a woman and subject to the law. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and 
will be forever. Amen. In this great love, in his great love for us, God sent his Son in the likeness of our sinful nature, born of a woman and subject to the law. Alleluia. <clears throat> Blessed be the Lord Jesus, our peace, who came to unite man with God. Let us pray to him in humility. Lord, grant your peace to all. When you were born, you showed your kindness and gentleness. Help us always to be grateful for all your blessings. Lord, grant your peace to all. You made Mary, your mother, full of grace. Give all people the fullness of grace. Lord, grant your peace to all. You came to announce God's good news to the world. Increase the number of preachers and hearers of your word. Lord, grant your peace to all. You desire to become our brother by being born of the Virgin Mary. Teach men and women to love each other in mutual brotherhood. Lord, grant your peace to all. You came as the sun rising over the earth. Show the light of your countenance to those who have died. Lord, grant your peace to all. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy, to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone, and I'll see you next year. <laughs>